So you know that extraction mode we've been talking about for months that's been leaked out for quite some time? Well, we had a 343 dev effectively confirm it. The community director sketch was replying to people on Reddit, talking about the new update with the season, talking about his experience and had a great time. But there's one key word that he says right here and that's saying, I am loving extraction. The team did a great job, IMO. Was sketch even replying to it saying, I keep mixing those up. But you know another thing that actually needs to be confirmed right now it's your subscription to this channel because only 58% of you guys are actually currently subscribed to the channel. If you're watching this video, clearly you're a fan of Halo and we're doing daily Halo content, give you the news, updates, tips, tricks, and everything you need to know about Halo Infinite. So you're probably watching now going like, what do you mean by he confirmed this? Like he was actually talking about escalation, like escalation slayer and stuff like that. But the thing is, if there was an extraction within Halo Infinite, why would Sketch of all people be mixing up those words? So to me, this is another piece of the puzzle that confirms that extraction is going to be coming into Halo Infinite, which is going to be a PVE mode sometime within most likely this year. We do know thanks to Bathrobe sparring another rather credible leaker within the data miners of Halo Infinite, and saying right here, MP mode extraction PVE. So like they were saying that this was being tested previously way back of June of 2022. And we've even seen leaked gameplay of extraction. Interesting thing, check out this right here. That's a spore mound that's in this game mode right now. So something that probably to do with the flood is what we will see involving with extraction, which more rumors of the flood all point towards it coming with season four as well. So it seems like there might be some kind of way where extraction kind of also ties into the infection mode. But if you guys want to know something we're actually doing this weekend, we're doing a crazy event of doing a 1v1 tournament and we're partnered up with compete.gg. I made a community post on my channel the other day to make sure the subscribers of the channel get early access to this thing to sign up because there's a really cool prize pool for the top finishers of this 1v1 tournament. And it's happening tomorrow, March 11th at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I also will be streaming this event doing some casting i'll be spectating you guys and calling out so you get a chance to be on stream and we'll get a chance to see who is the sweatiest member of the community here spots are filling up fast so check out the description or the pinned comment here to find a link to sign up it's super easy and i hope to see you all on twitch but actually the first time we ever saw the mention of extraction was in this toy leak right here showcasing some kind of like AI on top of some kind of objective kind of thing was like some weird plant looking things which look kind of floody in my opinion right here. It says that it's a mega constructs ex halo extraction infinite escape kind of thing so a lot of word salad happening right there but this is what extraction was going to be like when it comes to the launch of Halo Infinite. Clearly we didn't get the game mode at launch but it's been about a year or a little bit more than that to get Halo Infinite up and running. Now, generally what this game mode seems to be like is some kind of mode where it's a attack defense kind of thing. I think there are four to six players on the front on your team versus bots or was supposed to be currently campaign AI characters within existing multiplayer maps. So this could be a reason why we don't see the campaign AI quite ready within Forge, but they are working on that at the moment. So I think these two things are tied together. It's probably why we have not seen a PVE mode in Halo Infinite since, well, the launch of the game, which is something that's been, I believe has sorely been missing within this game of some kind of casual mode. You can just kind of jump in and start shooting things. And the idea is this, you take that objective that we showcased earlier, you bring it to a location like this one right here, defend it for X amount of time, and then you get an objective point or something like that. Right now in the game, you can see that in this gameplay, it's not really happening because obviously the coding still needs to be there. A lot of early assets that are not quite ready, but this is a game mode that seems to be happening within Halo Infinite, which has me very excited because this is something, like I said, Halo Infinite drastically needs. And season three is going to be the shortest season we've ever had within Halo. The current end date that's been stated within 343 is showcasing June 20th. So that's when we most likely will see infection and extraction come into the game, which I would be very happy about. But what are your thoughts on the extraction mode? Do you think it's something that could be really fun? Kind of almost a pseudo replacement for Firefight? Not a true replacement, but something similar to it. If you want to know about all the hidden changes that came with the update of season three, we'll check out this video right here and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.